Today I'll show you the easiest way of using Elementor Pro to create a slide out menu like this with additional features like a functional CTA button and social media buttons. And when someone clicks on it, they will be redirected to their respective pages. This is super simple and I will do everything step by step so that even a non-technical person can follow. On your WordPress dashboard, go to templates, click on save templates and create a new template by clicking here. Choose section from the drop down and add a name to it. I'm going to name it slide out menu and hit create template. Now I can pick one template from this pop-up, but as I want to create everything from scratch, so I'll close this window for now. Next, click here to add a container like this. Then on your left, change content width to full width and adjust the minimum height to viewport height and drag this slider till you reach 100 to create a full height container. With this setting, you can have a mobile menu that covers the entire screen. And that's what we want, right? Next, go to style, choose background type as classic, and to upload a background image, click this plus icon. Choose your image from here and hit select. Now keep the position as center and make sure to select no repeat from repeat dropdown. For display size, select cover and to give a fade out effect, go to background overlay and from here, choose gradient. Then from color, choose this thing. In the second color section, select black color and change the angle to 90 degree. To make it compact, let's go to advance and change padding to this. Awesome. Now let's start adding components to our menu. So click on this plus icon. On the left, look for the WordPress menu. Here it is. Simply drag it here like this. Next, change layout to drop down and toggle button to none. Our main menu is ready, but there's one more thing that we should add, which is our CTA button. But before that, let's quickly add our company logo first. So right click here and add a new container. Then move it above the menu like this. From the left, drop the image widget on this new container. Then upload your logo by clicking this plus icon and choose the logo from this window. To resize it, go to style, and then customize the width and height of the logo using these settings. Now let's remove this background from a menu. Go to style, click here and then drag the slider to the left until the background is completely gone. Then from the hover section, I'll do the same thing with the background color here as well. Okay, let me go back and change the normal text to white. Next, let's change the typography by going here. First, I will change the decoration to none change the weight to 600 and then using this slider, I'll increase the size like this. The items are too close to each other. So let's increase the spacing by moving the slider like this. Now go to advanced and align the menu items to the center. Oh, the hover function is not working anymore. I'll go back to hover and change the text color to this. Now to add a CTA button, Create a new container once again, then from the left, drag and drop the button widget like this. I'll edit the default button text and change it to shop now. Under the style tab, change the button position to center. I'll also change the default text color to white and choose a solid border type. Next, I'll select two pixels at the border width and choose my border color from this palette. Go to padding and put 20 pixels of padding on all sides. I want to have rounded edges to my border, so I'll select a border radius of 60. To add some hover effect to the button, change the text color like this. I'll also set a global color for the button hover effect. To add hover animation to the button, I'm going to select grow from the drop down. So create a new container and from the left, drop the social icons widget into it. To change the look and feel of these icons, simply go to the advanced and style tab and make changes according to your needs. Now comes the important part. To give a cool slide effect on our mobile menu, we need to add a short piece of code to our menu. Don't worry, this is super simple. We just have to copy paste the code and make minor changes to it. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL, and click continue. LF will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score. 
like caching, image optimization, lazy loading, and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your side. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. So first, go to Save Templates and open Theme Builder in New tab. In this window, click Edit. Now in the widget section, look for HTML. Here it is. Let's drag it here. Next, from the description, copy code number one, come back and paste it here. Now in the Save Template, I'll go here and copy the shortcode of the menu we created earlier. Then come back and paste it here like this. Now, the final step is to give slide out effect to our mobile menu. So, I'll go to my website and on the top, click on customize and select additional CSS. In this box, we have to paste our code. So, again, go to the description, copy code number two, come back and paste it here. Wait, before we move forward, we need to do one small thing. We should replace this shortcode in the HTML code with our mobile menu shortcode. So, I'll go back. Click here to see the shortcode. Here it is. Come back and replace it here. Awesome. The coding part is done. So let's publish by clicking this button. Now I'll go back to this window and you can see the placement is little off. So I'll change the alignment from the advanced tab. Add some margin from here. Next, go to responsive and enable hide on desktop option. That's it. We are done. Now let's see how it looks. I'll open this website on my phone and then click on this hamburger menu. Hmm, the slide out effect is smooth and buttons work fine as well. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Also, if you found this video helpful, give it a like. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.